If you're looking to get yourself some brand new games, Xbox Live membership or more, you can check out G2A.com. Link is in the description below. Using that link helps out the channel and you can also use the code JAY for 3% off your first purchase. Hey there guys, how's it going? And thanks for joining me on another episode of Arc Survival Evolved on the PS4 Pro. Obviously, we are playing more PvP on the center uh, on official servers. Now, today is a special day. You guys are going to get to see the base location. No longer can I hide the base location. Most people know where it is on the server now. Uh, fortunately, some of the tribes on the server actually quite like us, even though we're uh, quite a big tribe, because although we're aggressive, at least we're not backhanded. Some tribes on this server are really backhanded and uh, lie and say they're not going to raid people when they do. At least we're consistent with our aggression. So today, the main point of today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make OP super custom recipes. Now, these recipes will allow you to get more health really quickly. They'll hydrate you. They'll fill up your food bar and they'll also barely cost anything. This is something that I tend to do once I've got my character to around level 70. Um, and don't worry, we'll check out the base soon. We're going to see the base. Um, I might not show you all of it today, but I have to go in there to make this stuff anyway. So I've got a new friend here, a new dire wolf. Looks absolutely huge. When you do that third person thing, look at this. Look how absolutely mahusive that thing looks. Oh, what a beast. Can you imagine having one of those? That'd be, no one would best be you if you had one of these. Uh, also, by the way, of course, don't forget, guys, don't forget to ask, use that like button. Let's see if we can break a thousand likes again. We keep breaking a thousand. It really is an awesome number to see. Extremely motivating for me when I see those kinds of numbers on the likes, guys. So, simply use that like button if you like these videos and you want to see more and more and more. So, basically... What we're going to do to make these super OP custom superfood recipes is we're going to make two mind wipe tonics. What the? I thought that was a player then. <laughs> we're going to make two mind wipe tonics uh, and then we're going to make the recipes. So why are we making two mind wipe tonics? Well, number one, we uh, take the mind wipe and then we add all crafting speed, which is going to allow us to have these super OP recipes. And then we want another one to take our stats back to normal those of you are interested in what kind of stats build i'm going for here i've gone for 250 weight 200 melee 120 movement speed i like tap like even or round numbers as much as possible so at the moment i'm trying to get my health to 400 like our ideal i like having things on like 50 or 100 i don't know it's just a bit of a uh obsessive thing i've got but those are my stats i find this is a pretty good overall build uh also those of you asking how did you get the manticore armor you actually get it uh by killing all three of the bosses so we're talking the dragon the megapithecus and we're talking the um the brood mother and you can do it on single player and you can cheat as well so you can do that on single player cheat kill all three of them um if you guys are really struggling with it i can make a video where i show you like a very easy technique to do it um but basically if you use the admin commands and you use the custom server settings you can do that very easily and then that armor you'll be able to use uh online now i believe the manticore helmet you can only get by killing um an alpha what is it an alpha death worm i can't remember i mean i didn't actually uh do that that's what a friend told me and uh you can only do that on official i think i'm not sure either way i don't have the helmet but this um the flat helmet goes very very well with it indeed so you might wondering here why we are doing slaughter of the penguins oh my god does anyone remember penguin chocolate bars it's probably just a bridge thing but oh penguin chocolate bars were the best the green ones of course were the best those had a terrible joke on them as well so the reason i'm doing this is to get loads and loads of prime meat because to make ourselves two mind wipes we are going to need 48 cooked prime meat now this is one of the best ways of getting prime meat that's a fully grown one that won't give me many prime uh, is to kill lots of penguins. Now, you get the most prime meat from the smaller ones. So, the juvenile, adolescent, and the baby penguins. It sounds a bit harsh, but it is what it is. I didn't make the game that way. So, this baby here might give me, like, about nine. Um, if I can actually find him. That's a problem with these tiny ones. It's actually, it's a juvenile. So, it'll probably give me nine. It'll probably give me, like, five or something. Uh, wow, 20 raw prime meat. What the heck? I don't think I've ever got 20 raw prime meat. So, two great tames to do this with are the Dire Wolf, as you can see. The Dire Wolf collects loads of this stuff. Uh, and the, well, the Saber Tooth is also another good tame to do this with. And you can see the prime meat is really, really stacking up. So, it won't take us long to get enough to cook. Now, if you don't have an industrial grill and you're not close to your base, I'm fortunate enough that I'm doing this close to my base so I can get this prime meat cooked relatively quickly. 
uh, then you can do this by taking around a few campfires with you. And uh, you should be able to cook a lot of your fry meat in time. So I'm not sure if I've got 48 yet. But I might do. I mean, because the thing is I'm getting 10 from some of those smaller ones. I'm just going to walk up here. Now, this is an awesome location. If you guys don't know where this location is on the center, I'm not going to tell you because you can figure it out for yourself. I mean, I might do eventually, but let's try and keep it kind of hidden. Some of you don't know where this is, so hey-ho, we'll do what we can. But it is a very, very cool location. As you can see, it looks like ice, but we're actually not cold, which is super, super cool. One raw prime from that one. Uh, we've got some entrances here, but I'm not going to go through these ones. I'm going to go to the other side. Which is where I actually have my uh, industrial grill. It's a nice little setup for cooking the prime meat. Just going to wait till we gen a little stamina. I think I'm actually going to level stamina. Because um, it helps when doing this farming. Look at this level up animation. What the heck? That looks kind of funny. Anyway, the bear's level up animation, if you haven't seen it, is the best, guys. Absolutely awesome. So, I've got my prime meat now. Let's take it into the base, into the industrial grill. Ooh, you guys going to get to see the base for the first time. Hope you will appreciate this, and we're probably going to get wiped now, but it is what it is. And I'll go in another video. I'll go into all kind of detail about how we built this base, the thinking behind it, and all of that. So I'm just going to take all from inventory there. I'm going to grab one gasoline out there. Set it on fire, because then that gets rid of the gasoline. It gives you the extra slot like that. I'm going to type in Prime. It's lucky some of these have actually uh, stacked here. You can see some of the early ones are spoiling already. But we should have enough here. Uh, so we're going to transfer our items. And boom. Now normal cooked meat actually takes a little while to uh, cook. So if this was normal cooked meat, I probably wouldn't stand here and watch it cook. But with Prime meat, you've got to be on the ball. Some of this has only got a minute left. So you might not actually uh, be able to cook a lot of this. Wow. Well, a lot of it's got a minute left. I guess it's because it's in my inventory. So we'll see what we can do. All right, we managed to grab that 12. Grab that out. Transfer all. So I've got 12 so far. So we need four stacks of 12. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here. And as soon as it's ready, I'll transfer it out. A lot of this goes off in like 50 seconds. So I'm not sure. Maybe we should actually time how long it takes to uh, cook a bunch of 12. But... We'll see, we'll see. I think we'll have enough. Who knows? If we don't, we'll go out and we'll get some more. Well, what do you know? We managed to get plenty. Uh, quite a lot of it went into uh, spoiled, but we've got plenty here. We've got more than 48. In fact, we've got 50 of these. So, next thing's uh, up. Actually, let's put some normal meat in there. I've got some normal meat in there. So, I'm just going to transfer it all. And it will only put the things that are cookable in there. We'll let that cook away. And because we only put one gasoline in, we're not going to waste loads of gasoline by uh, using that. So that's all good. There's one more cook prime there. So we're going to head into the base now, guys. I'm not going to give you a full tour or anything. Uh, the frame rate's quite bad in this base because we've got so many um, water taps going on. And we've got so many plant species and so on. But you will see. Here is Fortress. This is what we've been working on all this time. The Fortress. I haven't been able to show you, but now it's looking pretty damn intimidating. But anyway, we're not going into details today. I'm just going to pop these uh, cooked primes in the fridge over here. So let's go out here. We will do a full base tour, maybe tomorrow, maybe uh, the next day, but very soon we will do that. Wow, we can't even fit all this in. Oh, we can, we can. Right, so there's that. The next thing I need is some stimulants. So if you're wondering, to make a mind wipe, you need 24 cooked prime meat, 200 mejos, 72 narcotics, 72 stimulant, 20 rare flowers, 20 rare mushrooms, and uh, a cooking pot and some water to make it in. Uh, so all I need really now is to make some stimulant. And stimulant is made with stim berries and spark powder. And I don't think we've got any spark powder. Well, we've got a little bit, but it's nowhere near enough. So the next mission is we've already got the stone here for spark, is to get flint. So we need to get flint. And we need to get stim berries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out our dire bear. Because the dire bear can do both of those for me. Now, where is our dire bear? We've got one of these. Well, maybe someone's out on the dire bear. Let me just do a little check around. Hmm. I'll have to hunt down the dire bear. But I will. Ooh, we've got a scorpion egg. Nice. We've got these scorpions all lined up. So we can get our scorpion eggs for that Rex kibble. Of course. And... I know this is a bit much to take in, guys. You've never seen this base before, but I will show you all around it and how it works next time. So I guess someone's out in the dire bear. So what I'll do for now is I'll just go and get 
the uh, flint for the spark powder. All right, so I went out and got my flint. Let's now go and make that stimulant. Uh, we are making it in this bottom left one here, I think. Yeah, cool. So uh, we've got more than enough stone there. If you didn't know, it's 400 stone and the rest fit in one of these mortars. Uh, we haven't quite got enough stone, but it's all right. This will do. We don't need a bazillion spark powder. Um, so we're going to need this spark and then we're going to need stims for uh, the rest of it. And my buddy here, I think, has got the stims, Colossus. So we'll let him do that. I think he's going to be putting the stims in, yeah, in the mortars for me. So, oh, no. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. I need the stims. I might go and have a look. Uh, oh, right, they are in here. Absolutely beautiful. So the stims are in there. Uh, we're going to make stimulant. Now I need to get some narcotic. Um, we've got narcotic somewhere. So let me just see where it is. I'm going to need 144 narcotic. Uh, we did have some in this outside chest. So we've got 100. Ah, yeah, cool. So I've got 200 there. And we're going to be making this in a cooking pot. Nice and simple. I'm going to take all this rubbish out because we don't need all of this. We're actually only going to need two water skins. And I've got a canteen and a water skin. So that will do. So while that makes, I'll just get all this prepped. And then we will be making our mind wipe tonics. All right. So now I think we've got everything that we need. Let us go over to the cooking pot get this job done. I don't think I can put everything in there to make two at once. Oh, a little bit thirsty. Sort that out. Oh, and we're a little bit hungry. Sort that out as well. Hold on. Oh, I'm stuck on this. <laughs> Pretend to poop. Uh, let's add a little drink. Um, a little bit of food. That won't bother us while we're doing this. Right, okay. So, we've got in here the 24 cook prime. Let's just one, do one at a time, actually. We've got, we need 200 mejos. So there you go, one, two. I'm actually going to put another stack in in case one of them expires. Uh, we've got 72 narcotic, 72 stimulant needed. Bada boom, there's that. 20 rare mushrooms, 20 rare flowers, and the water. And I think that is everything that is needed to make this. So I should just be able to light this fire now. And I'll make the second one before I actually start making the superfoods. Uh, but now you've just got to wait a bit. I think it's about 30 seconds that you end up waiting. And you might be wondering why I've got the notes. Uh, you use the notes to actually make the superfoods. Which is, uh, let's just leave that a second. And see if we've got any raw meat in um, the feeding trough. That would be very useful if I do. And we do not. We don't. All these, all these times they get very hungry. Um, wow, tyrannical has got a lot of good stuff in it. Okay. Someone's working on another turret tower there. Um, let's have a look in the Joker Mobile. Have you got any raw meat? No, I'm looking to get some raw meat. I'm sure something somewhere will have some stacks of raw meat in it because that's what we're going to use to make our custom recipes. That's still not done. I wonder if the bear or the wolf has any raw meat in it. Have a little look. Nope. Right, we're going to have to go and get some raw meat, which kind of sucks, but it's all part of it. It's all part of it. Uh, so I'm guessing that first one will probably have made by now. There it is. Okay, so let's make sure we've got everything needed for the second one. Just put that out while we double check. So let's take that out uh, and that stimulant out. So we are 72 narcotic. Boom. There we go. 72 stimulant. There you go. We're going to need uh, 200 mejos. So let's just stick 250 in there. We don't need that water skin. Uh, we need 24 cooked prime and 20 rare flowers and rare mushrooms. I think that's everything. I think that's everything again. So let's light the fire and let's make the second one. All right, so we've got our second mind wipe tonic. I'm actually going to leave these in here for now as well as uh, put this stuff away. Actually, yeah, I better put this stuff away here. Uh, let's take out the thatch. And let's just leave the mind wipes in there for now. Uh, now I've got my mind wipes, uh, we're going to up our crafting speed and then make some recipes. So let me just prep for that and then we'll get on with that. 
Okay, we are back with me. If the freaking Trandon doesn't eat it all, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I'll give you a little bit because obviously I don't want you to starve or anything. But now we can get making the superfoods and I can explain to you all how it all works. It's going to be a problem because my weight is going to be ridiculous. Uh, so let's take the Mind Wipe Tonic first of all. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're going to put everything into a crafting speed. So just put this here. Um, I don't know what we'll get up to, maybe 700, 800%, something like that. Oh, keep going. Oh, we're going to get up to 800. Oh, nice. 830, I think that was. Right, 830%. So I don't need to actually uh, unlock anything right now. I'm going to leave that like that. Now, what you do, which is what I'm doing on the side here, is you put this crafting speed into the Arc Wiki, into the Arc Gamepedia under Custom Consumables. So you put that number in the top and then below you put whatever number of things you're going to put in. So quite an easy one to do that gives you really good food and good health is 20 raw meat. So you put 20 raw meat in there and then you put the note in there. You hold down a triangle and you click make recipe. Now using my calculator um, on the Arc Wiki, I can see that 20 raw meat will give me 146 health and 195 food uh, obviously a normal piece of cooked meat will give you eight health so to be able to get a burger that gives you 143 health is going to be very very beneficial indeed now it's not instant it is over time but this is super super strong and very very good in pvp so what up next well you choose what kind of food you want you can either get you can make food or you can make a drink you can actually make a drink with other stuff which is weird Stuff that's not liquid. Uh, but anyway, we're going to make a food. And you get a choice. You can make a burger. You can make a disgusting looking pita bread cookie, I guess. Or you can make a cake. And we're going to go with burgers because I love burgers. So I'm going to try and make this decent colour. I'll try and make them quite nice looking. Uh, there you go. Oh, that looks like a nice little toasted bun there. A little bit of lettuce. Let's make it not quite so radioactive. Yep, like that. Number three here, is this going to be the meat? Uh, yeah, I guess that can pass off as the meat. Number four, let's see what bit this is. Is this a ketchup? Oh, that's the bacon. Okay, I like that. Actually, is it a bit more... Oh, no, you don't purpley bacon. Red bacon looks okay. And then number five, we're going to have... What's number five? Let's see, pink. Oh, that's that bit on the top. I guess that could be a bit of mayonnaise or something like that. Um, oh, like mustardy mayonnaise. That looks kind of okay. Why don't you make it yellow like mustard? Hey, that looks quite nice. Well, that looks like a super tasty burger. So I'm going to call this one the value of what it gives. So roughly, I'm going to um, just round it down. So 140 health, I'm going to call this burger. Or this recipe even that will make the burger. So 140 health. Um, you can add a description as well, uh, like so I could say, oh, this also gives you 14 stamina, 200 food. This will actually give someone full food, so that's something worth noticing. So we're going to make that, and then we'll be able to see. I've got one recipe here for this burger, and I can make this burger by just, well, actually, you can just make it in your inventory, I think, just by doing that. And uh, do you have to do it in the cooking pot? Yeah, you've got to do it in the cooking pot. So now I can make this burger, am I right? I think I have to turn the cooking pot on. Either way, I can make that, but we'll make them in a second. Now I want to do one that's going to give people 100 food. So it's a bit easier to make. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 in here. We're going to add another note. We're going to press triangle. Go and make recipe. This, oh, damn, I'm thirsty. Hold on, let's just sort that out. I hate having the thirst things there. Right, make recipe. This one is going to be 10. Uh, this one is going to be... <laughs> I guess we can, we can use this thing. I don't know. Let's make this kind of weird colours. Uh, a dodgy biscuit. I mean, you can name this whatever you want. I think it's quite funny when people name these things like, I don't know, Jay's Dodgy Biscuit or whatever. But I, I like to be informative I'm PV when I'm PvP. I'm kind of serious business. So, oh, God, that looks... Oh, it looks horrendous, but no, I actually I can't bring myself I can't bring myself to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a burger or something. Let's just um so number one's the colour of the bun, right? Okay, let's make this like a darker bun. Oh god, I don't want those horrible colours in there. Obviously you can customize the colours to do whatever you want. You can just move these sliders about, get the perfect RGB mix. Um, I just completely messed that up. Let's put this one there. Actually, just make the, the bun a bit lighter. That bun is really, really, really getting to me. So you want things lighter, generally just 
shove everything to the right a bit more. There you go. Um, right, that one looks fine. So this one, I'm going to put it into my calculator. At 150. Oh, I'm 150 crafting speed. I'm 130. I am uh, 830. Damn, I've got 850 in the thing. So that other recipe is going to be wrong. But it's going to be kind of close. That'll be fine. So, yeah. Oh, actually, it is um, 140 health for the other one. So 10 raw meat on our 830 crafting speed is going to give us 95 food. So basically... 100 food so we're gonna call this one uh 100 food ah oh, i've lost my coloring that sucks yeah we're gonna call this one 100 food very very nice indeed but this one will also do your health this one will give you 70 health so it's actually gonna be easier to make uh so that is worth noting let's get this uh let's just get the bun going here we go. Lovely jubbly. Number two. Uh, sure, we can have a bit of red in there. A bit of green in there. A bit of yellow. And actually, that kind of looks okay like it is. So this one's 100 food. I'm going to make this recipe. And now we have two recipes. So we have one that costs 10 raw meat. Gives you 100 food. And we have one that costs 20 raw meat. And gives you, well, it gives you 190 food, but it also gives you 140 health. Now, we could also make a super good one. Um, we could either use cooked meat, which I don't actually think I have much of at the moment. But if you use 20, let's use 20 raw meat. We'll do one that's going to super give us loads of health. So, put that note in there. That's some recipe. And let me type this into my thingamajig. 40 will give us, this will give you 280 health. So, let's make this one. So you want to make a few of these. You might even want to make spares in case you lose some. You might want to make loads of spares so you can give them out to your friends. You know, people love you if you give them custom recipes. Let's put a bit of blue in here. Why not? Let's, let's make it a little bit different looking. Because this one is the one that has the super crazy uh, health to it. Actually, that looks quite cool. I like that. So we're going to call this one 280 health. So if you go out... If you're going to go on a raid or something, this is going to be a super cool one to uh, use. Now, we are going to move on after this to drinks. Now, for the drinks, you're going to want uh, God, all this polymer. Actually, let's make, a, let's make a deadly burger. I think if you just do polymer, it will give you a deadly burger. Let's have a look. Um... Hmm, I haven't done this in a while, actually. Let's see if we can make one with polymer. <laughs> I haven't done that before. So, 10 polymer. Um, okay, I bet this is going to be deadly. Polymer isn't actually on my uh, thing here, but you can, like, make one with poop or something. Now, what I'm going to call this is I'm going to call this, uh, like, double XP or something. And I'm going to see if I can fool not only my tribe mates, but I'm going to see if I can fool anyone who comes to raid us. So... They might find this cake. They'll be like, ooh, double XP. Sounds awesome. I want a piece of that. And they'll eat it and they'll instantly die. Oh, my word. I cannot, I cannot get that number three. There we go. There's the number three. And the inside, oof, nice and yellow. Oh, it looks delicious. Right, so let's call this one double XP. Obviously, you and me know this isn't going to give you double XP, but it, <laughs> it might fool someone who comes to raid us, finds it in a chest and think, ooh, I'll eat that. Double XP. Better eat that. And then they're dead. So super yummy. Actually, I'll, I'll write a proper description and make it look even more um, authentic. Gives double XP. And we're going to save for 600 seconds. Because that sounds about right. For 600 seconds. So I'm definitely going to make some of these up. Then maybe if someone comes to raid us, they'll end up just killing themselves. Or maybe I'll just leave these around for the bants. Right, make recipe. Okay, so we have made double XP. How much health does this give you? This gives you minus 300 health. Oh my word. Okay, look, we can make one. Actually, I don't think we need 10 polymer. Let's just make one uh, that's just 2 polymer. And that'll be even easier to make. I'm actually running out of notes here. So let's make another one. Let's do... Let's call this one... What's another thing we want? Double health. No, no, not double health. Invincibility. <laughs> Invince... And actually, let's not do invincibility. Let's do... Because that's like kind of not believable. Let's do... Um... I don't know. I mean, like, double XP is kind of believable. What else could we do? Let's quit the level up burger. 
the level up. Now, it will tell people before they eat these about what it will do to them, but they might not really know about superfoods, and it might catch them by a surprise. So, a level up burger. This is super yummy. Let's just leave it at that. Let's just go for some basic colors, make it look a bit like the other ones. Uh, let's just let's just make it red inside. Then we're gonna know it's red for danger. Right, the level up burger. So this one is two polymer. Let's see what this one does. Make recipe. There's all kinds of things you can make these recipes with. Okay, the level up burger will give you minus 62 health. Ooh, that's not really enough to kill someone. So mm, I'm not really feeling that. But the double XP one's good. The double XP one. That will probably kill most people. Um, we should probably make a super dangerous one as well. So let's use like... Let's use 20 polymer. I think this will be enough to take most people out. So we'll call this one... Uh, actually, we'll just call this one double XP... Double XP cake. Actually, was the other one a cake? I think it was. Let's call this one double XP burger. And uh, do this one, right. New recipe. Double XP... Burger, uh, right. We go. We're going to move on to drinks after this, guys. I know it's dragging on a little bit. But if you guys just came here literally to find out how to do this, you've already found out how to do it. So we just do this for people who want to see what kind of uh, recipes I'm going to make. Double XP burger. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to give you double XP, that one. So, again, we'll go. Let's make it a bit nicer looking. Brighten it up a little bit. A bit more red. Uh, yeah, actually, it doesn't look too bad. We'll go green and red inside this one. Alternating. No, it doesn't alternate. Okay, whatever. And then red there. Actually, that, quite, that looks quite nice. Oh, God, I hope my tribe mates don't um, eat this. I'm just going to leave that one at super yummy mix recipe okay so the double xp burger uh rather than the double xp cake will give you minus 634 health so that is an interesting one so we've got some good things here um i actually need to drop some stuff because i'm way too heavy here to be able to move and i want to move let's just drop that and i want to show you guys the drinks so we have got some berries over here let's get some measure berries and you can use measure berries to regen your um thirst you can use narco berries to knock people out you can use steam berry ones to get stamina back so i'm just going to show you guys uh let's just do a nice little combination if i can still move here ah too heavy i don't need to uh, i don't need to use all of these we can just drop half of those oh right i can just about move now very slowly it's obvious because i've reset my stats here uh, and can I make another note, actually? Let's make... Oh, I haven't learnt note. I've got to learn note to make another one. There we go. We can make another note. So now we're going to make a drink. That'll basically give you guys the idea of uh, what you can do with the drinks as well. You can, like I said, you can use all kinds of things. Anything you can basically eat, you can use in these things. So we're going to go for a note. We're going to go for... Uh, just let's just say hmm, 25 mejos 25 azules i'm gonna type that into my thingy here so 25 azules, 25 azules. this would give someone um this would give someone 95 water so that's actually pretty good actually let me see if it's just mejos how many is needed to get 100 water so it looks like you need about 50 to get 100 water. And to be precise, it's going to be like 47 or something like that. Let me just do a check. 46. No, not that many. 45. No, 44. All right. So 44 measures is going to give a nearly 100 water. So let's actually make this recipe like that. So a square to get rid of just one. 44 measures. And we should be able to make 100 water drink now. To be honest, I don't often use these. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can make drinks. Um, so we're going to make a drink. You've got a little mug there. You've got um, also a little red cup. So let's go for the red cup. Actually, you want it blue inside. Make people know it's got. It's all about that thirst. And we're going to go red on the outside. Looks very cool. Right, that looks cool. That looks very nice. So 
this is basically just for show but these are quite cool to do in rp as well so like rp servers and stuff so this one is 100 uh water 100 water there we go 100 water super yummy super no let's just leave it super... oh no. okay let's just we can't have it just suck let's just leave it blank right okay so let's make recipe and then we've made that recipe so i believe all we have to do to make some of these is you just put something to light the fire so we've got a bit of thatch here that would do let's put some raw meat in and let's make some of the hmm, let's just make some 100 foods because that's going to be useful so you just throw that in light the fire and bada boom there you go you're making beautiful burgers or whatever you want to make and you can see it does actually still tell you the stats of it so i don't know if this uh level up burger will actually fall anyone <laughs> minus 62 health for that one uh where's the really nasty one double xp Ooh, that one's nasty the double xp burger uh this is it this one? Oh yeah this one the double xp burger let's make some of those that one's just polymer, isn't it? There we go. Let's make one of those. And seeing as we're uh, in the land of polymer here, we can actually make a few of these. <laughs> I'm going to try and give one to one of my tribe mates, see if they eat it. Uh, right, so the 100 foods are good. And then, as you can see, these things, not only are they great in terms of they give you loads of health and whatever, but they also uh, they don't go off for a long time, I don't think. Actually, do they even go off at all? It spoils in. And the number is completely covered over. So, but yeah, I know these don't spoil for a long, long time. Might as well see if I can. So we've got two of these. Actually, we've got three of these double XP burgers, which are basically going to kill you. <laughs> they look kind of similar to the normal burgers. I should really uh, have thought about that one. Um, but I know. At least I know. So then what you do is you can go and take your other mind wipe, get all your stats back to normal. So we're is the mind wipe there's the mind wipe so now i've done this just double make sure that you don't want to make any more and whatever i'm absolutely fine with this for now you can always come back at another date and do that and now i'm going to get my stats back to normal so i like to have 250 health uh 250 weight even and i like to have 200 melee I'll be very careful here not to overstep the mark there we go. I like 120 movement speed. Basically fast enough to get away from most dinos and most players. And I like to pump some health. I think I was up at 380 health before, actually. Might go... Yeah, I'm going to try and get it up to 400 just to make it round. So we're nearly there. We're nearly at level 75. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I showed you guys how to make your superfood, your custom recipes. These are going to be really OP. Uh, compared to people who have no idea how to make these and they're very simple to make as long as you can make yourself some mind wipe tonics it's really not an issue so i'm going to store these away safely but thanks for watching the video guys hope you learned something today but that's it for now uh next video i might actually be showing you around the server a little bit let me know if you want to see that not the server the base even but i'm out for now thanks for watching guys see you next time